Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and many of you have requested me for showing an example chart where we can see success in IT field. So this is one of the beautiful charts where uh, this lady has been very 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 successful in IT field and we will see the combinations today. So if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and you want to know things related to your career or marriage or your health or your general well-being or your spiritual life then you can go to my website and book a reading you will find the link of the website in the description of this video below okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there so now this is one of the charts which is showing a lot of success in it field so let us see what are the combinations that uh, can make a person successful in IT. And as I always say that this video is focused on career and IT. So we will ignore things related to her marriage or kids or any other things which are irrelevant of the topic. Okay. And the birth details will not be shared because the person has not given me permission and other details regarding Dasha and all other combinations and the divisional charts will also not be revealed because of confidentiality so first we see the position of the ascendant lord you see this is a capric the chart of a capricorn ascendant because number 10 is here in the lagna and then we see the lord of the ascendant is go going to the 11th house 11th house is the house of gains network circles profits doing things in a big scale basically so this is very good for this uh, for the chart because the lagna lord if it's placed in the 10th or in the 11th is considered very 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 good for anything any task given to this person the person will achieve it after his or her hard work and efforts so this makes the chart very strong point number one then uh, as we know that whenever we have to see success in career and other areas we have to see the houses 2 6 then 10 and 11 all right so these houses will have combinations combinations means that the the lords of these houses will be sitting in each other's houses or they will be sitting together in one of these houses not necessarily always but in many cases we see that so now you see here the ruler of the 10th house which is venus because this is uh, the sign number seven which is libra is placed in the second house venus is in aquarius and it's a friendly sign this is fantastic so lots lots and lots of money uh, can come through career that is seen now apart from being the lagna lord we see saturn is also the ruler of the second house so the second lord is also placed in the 11th house so do you see how fantastic this placement is and then we see that the lord of the 11th house which is mars here is placed in the fifth house the fifth house is the house of recognition and uh getting promotions and uh, name and fame basically fifth house because it's the original sign of leo so mars and saturn are in mutual aspects so the lagna lord and the 11th lord are in mutual aspect so this is uh, making the chart very strong that because the lagna lord and 11th lord when they whenever they are uh, conjunct or they are aspecting each other this makes the chart very strong and uh, we can also see that uh, the 10th lord is in the second it makes the chart very powerful and as james braha had come to my channel recently months back and he had said that if somebody wants to be very 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 rich then the houses uh so number two and 11 has to have some connection and here we see the second lord is in the 11th house okay this is fantastic and they say that scorpio has two lords one being uh, mars and the other being ketu and ketu is also placed in the ninth house which is also the house of education and guidance etc so this is also very good now uh, for it we have to see uh, the power of the third house because third house is ruled by uh, third house basically shows endeavors related to it field but nowadays we have to see many things so for example we have to see if the third house is having link with the second house uh, 
then the sixth house then the tenth house then the eleventh house because these are the houses of money and career so when third house joins with all of these that can show that there's a lot of money coming from there okay uh, but nowadays as it careers involve too much traveling so and traveling to foreign lands especially if you are uh, from a country like india then many people go on site to uk to america to uh, europe and to canada to australia so we also have to take into consideration the 12th house and the 9th house along with the third house so these are the houses of travel basically 3 9 12 so if these three houses 3 9 12 have some connection with the lords of the second 6th 10th and 11th then this can show some success in the zone of it uh, so now here we see the ruler of the ninth house which is mercury and the ruler of the 12th house which is jupiter is placed in the third house itself jupiter and mercury are conjunct in the chart okay and uh, then we also see that mercury is also the ruler of the sixth house because the number three sign is gemini so as i said two six ten and eleven should have some connection with the third house so you see here mercury is uh, again situated here in the third house so the person is working in a job in a very big company and third uh, sixth house shows job job basically working under somebody okay so this is happening quite for this person so the sixth lord is in the third so that shows that whenever the person wants to work the person will go into it and sectors related to uh, technology etc and apart from that we also need to check the position of rahu because rahu will also represent uh, the it sector to some extent because uh, rahu represents those things which uh, are new basically of course it is not new now but if you take uh, as traditional astrology then I it can be to some extent represented by rahu so here rahu is also placed here in this house in the third house and it is conjunct the sixth lord and the ruler of the ninth and twelfth houses okay now apart from this for success in any profession you need good intelligence so there are planets like jupiter and mercury which are conjunct in this chart and whenever jupiter and mercury is conjunct in any house it the person uh, is, is in general my opinion quite intelligent uh, intelligent in a way that the person can understand things much better and you also see that sun is also placed here so that even makes this much more stronger with rahu uh, so there there you go we see that these houses are quite strong and there are other good placements also for example the ruler of the fourth house which is mars is also placed in the fifth house so whenever fourth and fifth are having connections you can understand that there's a lot of intelligence in the person uh, because knowledge and intelligence are getting connected so the the person can hold lot of information and the person can process information very fast okay so these are the different combinations of course there are a million other combinations which we can keep discussing all the time and we can keep analyzing how this is happening or how that is happening uh, but uh, i will refrain from doing it because these are the things which i wanted to show and this person has gone to foreign many many times and the person has come back to india now and currently recently uh, because jupiter is transiting in the sign of libra now from last year september october and it will be transiting till october 12th of 2018 so recently the person has got a very big job in india in a new company and uh, then jupiter will be going to the 11th house so i have suggested this person that after october 12th you can apply for another job to another company if you want because then you might even get better opportunities there okay so this is what i can say and uh, that's all so these are the combinations com combinations of the third house with the uh, lords of the second sixth tenth and eleventh and the lagna lord should be strong and the combination of the third ninth and the twelfth houses okay so these are the combinations and rahu's placement is also there here and Rahu also aspects the 11th house of gains okay so these are uh, some of the placements in my experience which I have found to be very helpful and uh, there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then you can please subscribe to my channel 
and if you are having these placements and you want to know if you can be in IT or in any other sphere or you have some queries regarding your marriage or career then you can always book a reading with me you can go to my website you will find the link in the description of this video below okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye